Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video, a new system test. I'm about to reveal a new system. We now have a Notifier ID60, which has replaced the Gent Nano panel in the garage. As you can see, we have Notifier by Honeywell, and this is the ID60 panel. So I'm going to give you guys an overview of this system, and we're going to test a few devices. So let's go through the devices. So, to start with, we have a notifier call point. I'll put the model numbers on the screen. As you can see, it does pull very quickly uh, with a green LED, as you can see. And then we have another one over here as well. Uh, I think uh, a couple of these have plastic elements or resettable, I'm not too sure. But um, I'll only be testing these with a key in this system test. So, two notifier call points. And if we go up the loop, and then over here we have a notifier heat detector. Uh, again, I'll put the model, model number on the screen. And I think this might be an SDX or something like that. I can't remember the top of my head. But yeah, we've got a heat detector. As you can see, it pulls very quickly. There we go. And then finally, we'll go over here. Over here we have a system sensor heat detector. Uh, put the model number on the screen. So you can, uh, system sensor d devices can work on the notifier system, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it pulls as well, there you go. And then over here we have a notifier loop powered be uh, beacon. So yeah, that's all the devices. So, And I forgot to mention that uh, this heat detector is on a sounder base as well, a notifier sounder base. Uh, model number for that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much all devices. So. Uh, I haven't got any uh, smoke detectors yet, but uh, we're starting out with heat detectors, so we'll be testing heat detectors in the next system test. But in this test, we'll be testing the call points. So I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of this panel, and then we're going to test a few of the call points. So, yeah, this is a one-loop panel. It's also, you can have the system in uh, clip mode or op opal mode. Uh, the system is in clip mode, which means the devices pull a lot faster. I'm not too sure, other than that, what the other features are of clip mode versus opal mode. So if anyone wants to let me know in the comments the difference between clip and opal mode, uh, please let me know. So, yeah, I've set the time of date as well. It's on the correct time of date. And its system status is on normal. And then we have all our labels down here. Uh, our zone fires on this one. Zone faults. And, yeah. That's pretty much it. So we have mute buzzer, en extend delay, end delay, sil uh, silence, re sound, and reset. And then we have our number keypad there. And also we have the key here, which you can use to access into the panel, or we can put in a code. So we have to press this button here, and that'll take us to our menu screen. So we have test, if we click on test, by pressing the five here, the tick here. We can test LEDs, L uh, LCD zones, auto high test, and output. So let's go ahead and do an, uh, an LED test. So press this. That's going to test all the LEDs. So it might take a minute. But yeah, it's working through all the LEDs. And they all should be working quite well. So yeah, there we go. Now it's got to do uh, that row, and there we go. And it's just going to repeat again, so we're just going to exit out of it. But all the LEDs work. If we test the LCD, uh, it's just displaying uh, random letters, as you can see. The same letter. So we know the LCD is working fine. So we're back out of this. Uh, when we press zones, uh, we can have sounders or no sounders to do our test mode, our walk test, and then we can obviously stop the test, uh, or press stop all. So yeah, uh, if we go back, then we have our disable enable, so we can disable enable zones, devices, individually outputs, uh, consist of a day mode or a night mode, delays, and that's pretty much it. I haven't play, uh, played too much with these, but or we'll have a go at playing with some of these features to set up some maybe some delays or stuff like that and then if we go to clock that's where we can set our time and date 
And then if we go to view mode, we can view our logs, devices, vaults, input events, and disabled. And maintenance, alarm count, voltages, and version. And the next one is commission, and we have print. I don't think this panel has a printer on it, but you can print logs, disablements, and maintenance. And then to get to level 3, we just press this button. And then we go down to commission. Then we enter the passcode, which is the default passcode. There we go. So we can set up. If we press set up, we can set up our panel options for what we want the panel to do. And site details and device options, so you can have devices polling or not polling. Uh, you can change the sensor colour, uh, I think that's for the newer sensors uh, on, on Opal. And uh, double address detection. And then we can set up peripheral options, which is your RS-485 and your RS-232. And then we can set up our day and night settings. So there we go. And then if we go back, and we go to circuit, and then we can uh, look at our SLC loop or our onboard. So if we go to our SLC loop, uh, that's when we can learn our devices. If we, if we went to learn, and if we went to devices, we can enter the addresses of the devices. And if we go to uh, CBE rule, I'm not sure what this does really, so I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, zones, so we can look at our zones and enter text, which I haven't done yet. And then access, you can go to user, this tells you your passcodes, and you can set up some passcodes in engineer mode. So, yeah. And then if we go to system, uh, we can uh, wipe memory. Uh, I'm not sure what the crystal does. And if we go to normal, it just takes you back to the main screen. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for uh, the panel. So I will be playing around with some uh, different features and stuff for the panel. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and get started. So the sound base as well is set on the alternating tone. So it's not set on the uh, notifier fast sweep. It's just currently on the alternating tone uh, for right now. But we'll be changing the tones and stuff in different system tests. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab our key. I can't remember if these are resettable elements or if they've got uh, glass in them, but I'm just going to just test it with the key for this system test. Uh, you can see they've got notify glass as well. Notify element there. And yeah, let's go and get started. So in three, two, one. There we go. That's activated. Uh, we can go ahead and reset the panel. And let's finally test this call point and I will go around and show the beacon as well going off. So let's test this in three, two, one. So there we go. Uh, it's currently in zone one. Uh, I will uh, probably put these devices into different zones for the detectors and call points in zone one. So I'll just press it up and then we'll go ahead and reset the panel. Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching this first system test. I'll be testing the detectors in the next test with the hairdryer. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and videos will really help. 
and I shall see you in the next system test. Goodbye everyone.